When it comes to arguing the virtues of Jenkins versus Maven, there really isn't much to debate. If someone asked me to choose between the two, I'd put a ring on Maven's finger and never regret terminating my relationship with Jenkins. I really can't think of a build tool that's done more to make software development easier for me than Maven has. I can run a single archetype command and create a skeleton of a fully compliant Java EE, Spring, Microprofile, or Android application. Writing a Maven plugin is easy. Because writing a Maven plugin is easy, there's plugins for all sorts of software quality tools and, and different plugins for, for Maven. Maven's Java based, Maven's easy to install, Maven's easy to configure. Maven doesn't require a servlet engine in order to run, and most importantly, Maven solves the dependency management problem. Now that's not to say Jenkins doesn't have its advantages. With Jenkins, you can create modular jobs that can compile, modular jobs that can test, modular jobs that can package applications, and even modular jobs that can deploy applications. But you know, if you actually look under the covers and look at what Jenkins is doing, it's actually just delegating to Apache Maven. So it calls on a match Apache Maven to do the compile. It calls on it to do the test. It calls on it to do the package. And it calls on it to do the deployment. And for that matter, where does the deployment happen? Well, half the time, it's a Java library that gets pushed to a Maven repository. So you're looking at JFrog, or you're looking at Nexus. But the actual work that Jenkins is doing, if we're not actually deploying to a container, we're probably deploying to a Maven repository. Now that's not to say that Maven is perfect. So with Maven, the external programming tool is XML. And personally, I would rather spend an afternoon filing expense reports than fighting over XML. One of the places that Jenkins steps up to the game is that Jenkins has an incredible programming environment. So with Jenkins, you can create jobs that call command line code in a Windows batch environment. You can use the bash shell script. Uh, you can even use programming languages. You can call a Java program, but more often than not, people are calling Groovy scripts um, and taking advantage of the Java virtual machine, but the great scripting environment that Gradle and Groovy provides. The whole argument of Apache versus Jenkins is actually a bit of a specious one. And the reason for that is there's actually not a lot of intersectionality between the two. If, if you were to ask me which one do I think is better and which one's had a bigger impact on my uh, life as a Java developer, Apache Maven wins every single time. But Apache Maven and Jenkins aren't actually competing in the same space. With Jenkins, you can actually create little jobs. You can tie those little jobs together. You can create pipelines and, and, and daisy chain individual jobs together and create a, a continuous integration pipeline and a continuous deployment pipeline in a way that you can't with Maven. And with Maven, that was never even the intention, right? So Maven is a great build tool. Jenkins is a great continuous integration tool. And when you build and when you bring them both together, you get the best of both worlds. And getting the best of both worlds is doing something like using the Maven plugin for Jenkins. So the two aren't meant to compete. The two are meant to work together. So with Maven, you get incredible build capabilities. You get incredible capabilities to uh, call on external programs like Jococo or check bugs. With Jenkins, you can create modular jobs, daisy chain them together into a pipeline. and Jenkins also has a very creative and, and very extensive plugin community as well, so you can also use Jenkins to, to plug into third party tools like Git and SonarCube and Subversion and the like. And then you do all this together and you create a, a nice little uh, pipeline, and then the pipeline can run. If there's a problem, it short circuits. If there's no problems, it goes all the way and can potentially even push your code to that Maven repository or even into a Docker based microservices production environment. And so the thing is yes, there's Maven. Yes, there's Jenkins. Uh, they are two very important DevOps tools, but they're complementary. And if you really want to get it right, you use them together. You don't contrast them in a this one versus that one type of discussion.